Yeah, so in AA amyloidosis, uh, the, the cause of AA amyloidosis is um, a rise in the serum SAA protein. And this is usually um, the result of one of three etiologies. The first one is infection, chronic infections such as osteomyelitis or chronic pulmonary infection. Tuberculosis is another uh, common cause of AA amyloidosis. The second category is inflammatory diseases. These are usually autoimmune diseases such as Crohn's disease um, or uh, rheumatoid arthritis, spondyl ankylosing spondylitis. And then finally, uh, there is a genetic component. And these are typically patients with familial uh, periodic fever syndrome, such as familial Mediterranean fever, TRAP syndrome, Muckle-Well syndrome, um, as well as hyper-IgD syndrome. In order to treat renal AA amyloidosis, uh, you need to treat the underlying disease. So for example, in patients with infection, eradication of the infection is um, essential for resolution of the AA amyloidosis. In terms of the inflammatory diseases and also the hereditary periodic fever syndrome, anti-cytokine therapies have been very effective. So um, anti-IL-6 such as tocilizumab has been used quite frequently. Anti-IL-1 with anakenra have been found to be quite effective at suppressing the inflammation, which then caused a decrease in SAA uh, levels.